action right. sequence. And we're back. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's what up? up? What's nah. up? Do, do you have some Star Wars guys? I think so. <laughs> you, some you like Star Wars? I like do Star some Wars. Sweet dice crimes? What's all these uh, sweet we're dice coming, crimes? We're... <laughs> We're coming to you here from the chemical plant where uh, Batman dropped the Joker into a vat in the first movie. It's oh, in Sector nice. 943. <laughs> yes, so it is. Your a... mom. Oh. Oh. The section oh. known as the works. <laughs> it uh, has one thriving manufacturing area for companies such as Servodroid Incorporated. <laughs> 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 the little details they had here are just so ridiculous. It's not even a cutscene, it's just like, here's information. What what follows is like five incredibly detailed pages about the droid construction business, and it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom uh, line, yes. fiscal quarters, reports. Yeah. Servo Droid Inc., Hunvico, and Nebula Manufacturing is now a rundown sprawl where disenfranchised individuals go to remain off the grid. It is home to smugglers, death stick addicts, malfunctioning droids, gangsters, bounty hunters, and countless others. Duracrete slugs, stone mites, conduit worms, and worse vermin can be found throughout the area, and travelers are advised to steer clear of the decaying buildings. I don't even know what half that stuff is. And of course it says that... Um, much of the industry has moved off-world to cheaper, less restricted factories. I have never heard of that before. Social commentary. <laughs> yes, uh, most of the plants still work, though, because, you know, they're, um, uh, they, they all work under automated processes. And, of course, um, one, of the, one of the places that you probably know you shouldn't go is the one place that has uh, Republic soldiers, actually. Uh, they're stationed here to protect a, um, what looks to be some sort of, uh, facility to churn out, uh, fighters. You know, you know, uh, space fighters. Yeah. In space. Can't fight space, silly republic. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Novacore Calerium Processing Plant is where you're going, and it's actually a really big place. Uh, it actually takes up, like, a third of the entire sector. Um, the whole thing's 100% automated, almost, and it just, it just, like, you, you, as you guys pull up on your speeder, it's like, th there's not even, like, a droid to greet you, it's just completely, this is just, you know, all the workers are replaced with robots, and that's it. Hmm. Hmm. I can read you the cutscene. The barely lit landing pad on the southern corner of the complex is perpetually cr uh, covered in waves of steam emanating from nearby exhaust ports. Small tracks of light in the center are the only markers to assist in navigating through the hazards. A number of crates, boxes, and other neglected shipments sit on the outskirts of the landing pad, still waiting for attention from the factory workers. So yes, you have landed there. Okay. Should we just walk in, then? Yes. Why not? I mean, that's, okay. that's generally how Graz would approach everything, so you may not want to take that advice. <laughs> oh no, he's like Arden. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh! Um, it's a joke I'm not privy to. It's a Sunday game. We're referencing another tabletop game. I don't get it either. So, uh, can we perceive anything? Sure. That Roll. might be dangerous. Yeah, there's all sorts of dangerous things. You have to be more specific than that. Well, there's... is there anything that looks like it might be, you know, another trap involving... Well, that <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can That's a running make... theme for tonight. <laughs> there's a you bucket of make them a, perched uh... over the door here. Like a, yeah, like the, the yeah, yeah. bucket. It said not thermal detonators. <laughs> That's reasonable. It wasn't thermal detonators. It was an acid. Oh. Uh, -huh. uh yeah. Easy perception check. One purple. Did 
An advantageous yeah, failure. Impersonate. Yes, do reimpersonate. That's the thing. I'm failing forward. I guess sorry, his uh, headset is busted. Oh. No. Yeah, the boom arm is just. I it, it's if I have it at a different angle, it it's uh it's one of those ones where if the boom arm is up, it mutes. Oh. Huh. Mm. So if I have it tilted up just for a second, like if I'm gonna take a drink or something, it's like. Ah. Well, that's just good design there. Uh all of you failed to see nothing because uh, Tovan doesn't see anything either. It's uh, it doesn't look like this, you know, the door's trapped or anything. Uh, it looks like you know it's an actual office building. Like uh... okay, <laughs> he just walks to the door, he, fearless. Is the door locked? No, actually. All right, Graz walks through the door. Is there any sign of Kato having gotten here yet? Like is his no, nope. no. You don't see nothing like that. Is this a he went somewhere else? It's like a space turtle in an aquarium in here, or is it just a desk? Uh, yeah, it's just a desk. It's like a it, it probably at one it's point just... was like a reception uh, thing with like a secretary, but there's like no one there now. Oh, okay. I think it's just a very pixelated. Chair. Yeah, yeah, super pixelated. Is this door locked? No. All right. Another cutscene. <laughs> the austere offices of Novacore are run by a skeleton crew. As you enter the building, you see an elevated walkway that overlooks the main floor, filled with shambling worker droids that monitor various screens and equipment for the main factory. Large banks of security screens show most of the ref uh, main refining plant and the processes taking place inside. Across the building from your vantage point, a small office sits above the, uh, the activity, overseeing it all. Behind the large windows, three... This is the worst name for an alien race ever. Mustafarians run the operation. Oh god, Mustafarians. Worst name ever. Um, the droids don't notice you. They don't really seem to care. Most of them are programmed to just do what they're doing, and they don't care about anything else. So they don't even look up. And of course, the offices are kind of a little distant, so uh, the most of our are kind of involved in their own thing. Okay. Are you guys coming, or what? Yes, I guess. No, no, let the Wookiee go first. Graz sort of checks out the screens, sees what's going on. Um, mostly you just see the, the normal operating business things. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, looks like there's a molten river of what you assume would be clarium, and uh, there's cooling tanks. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of mechanical processes going on in there, arms moving, things like that. It looks pretty dangerous. Hmm. Any uh. Any sign of our buddy here? Nope. Huh. Oh, hey. Hey, can I use computers on these security cameras to make them loop what they're currently showing in case he comes through this way? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'll be an average check. Uh, two purple. Okay, I'm going to do that. Good Just going to loop the footage. Okay. <sighs> Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. He loops the footage and adds in some footage of Rob Ford screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. He's also one spice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're even able to like uh, coax the droid that was looking at that monitor to, to not report you to the uh, Mustafarians in the office. He's kind of like droid treat. 
You, you do. It's like a little stroke and a little pat on the head, and it's like and it like beeps at you in a pleased fashion. Not good. We wouldn't want those Rastafarians that were here. Uh, Mustafarians. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right. So According to the Star Wars, well back then. in the Star Wars wiki page, are guys in gas masks who carry around hammers full of molten metal. Their faces are actually gas mask shaped. They're gas mask aliens. You know, there's crab aliens. There's you know, dog aliens. Mommy. No. Uh, no, that would be us transitioning into an entirely different uh, game world, I said. A, a really, really bad place to be. Pretty much. Okay, so yeah, uh, I mean, there's this door here. Well, we should peek around the corner and see if we can see anything. I shall uh, stack up on the door. Reach, bang, and clear. <laughs> And, okay. and, and okay. perceive what it lays, what lay beyond us in these doors. Okay. Uh, once you open the door, it is a sweltering heat, just like punches you in the face, and oh. uh, it's kind of hard to see stuff in there. There's a lot of um, smoke, a lot of uh, well, not smoke, but you know, like uh, heat waves. You know, stuff of factories, so it's really quite difficult to see, like, any distance at all. So it'd be a hard check, which is three purple. What if I pull down my scanner goggles? Can they see through heat? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have the wrong copy of the book opened up here. <laughs> Good job. I think they have thermal and low light. No, if they had thermal, then that's all they're going to see is the yeah. huge red blob. <laughs> okay, so that was, uh... Eh, it's the wrong thing again. Alright, so that was... Three purple, you said? Yes. It's definitely straining to peer through the uh, fog, so you'll suffer another strain. Oh. Uh, gonna pull the map back a second. All right, uh, so. Uh, well, you know, you could not have it set huh? so that our our view changes to yours instantly. Huh? I don't. Then why would it do that? Because I clicked on Force you did my view. <laughs> you it's not continuous, though. All right, so this stuff over here is obviously the Calerium stuff, and that's just the river of molten Calerium. P.S. Don't fall into that. It's instant death. Okay. Uh, these are the cooling tanks, as you can tell, because they're blue-colored instead of red-colored. Well, and they... you get three extra lives because <laughs> cold is the opposite of hot. <laughs> um, all this stuff down below these catwalks is, you know, it's just like piles of stuff. Um, probably raw ore at some point, you know. Uh, this thing right here in the center is actually four stories up. Um, there's a little elevator right here, like a little lift that'll take you up to it. But at the moment, uh, you can't see what's on top of it, and none of the security cameras, oddly enough, look up there. Uh. And then back in here, you can't actually tell what any of this is. Uh, there's like two windows right here, but you can't really see anything through them because they're really, really gr uh, grimy. In addition to, you know, the heat waves. Hmm. Hmm. So that is your small primer on this place. So, what do we want to do, guys? Do we want to go talk to the Mustafarians and ask if they've seen a Nikto? Uh, probably we should just split up and look for him on our own. No. Cover more ground that way. No. <laughs> yeah, let's split the party. Best idea. Galen, you go. You go search <laughs> over by the molten 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, this is Star Wars, so there's no railings on anything. Nope. Not. Well, I think actually our first order of business should be to check out the elevated area. Sounds good to me. The office in here. Or the one outside. Here. Ah, okay. Sure. Because Nico. we all know that Saria wants to get up on a high perch and snipe everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do. Okay. Question is, is that where what's his butt is? We just cannot us. remember this dude's name. He just spins around in a Cat Is it Kato? It's Kato. Kato? Kato? Klato? Verato? So he's in fact a cat person, not a Italian person? There you go. Problem solved. Yeah. Okay. As you guys enter the sweltering, horrif horrifyingly hot factory, um, because apparently convection is a thing here, uh, you will all need to roll a average difficulty resilience check, which is two purple die. Oh, no. I hate it in here, apparently. Despite the fact that Graz is a walking carpet, he does fine. Just like home. <laughs> All right, Galen and Gears, since you both fail, um, you take two strain, and this cannot be recovered. Ever? No, just for this encounter. Uh. Galen's just used to his suffering at this point. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Galen? Dude? What? Buddy, why don't you use your jetpack and fly up on top of that thing? <laughs> Like right there? Yeah, fly up there. You have a jetpack. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do it. Okay. It's true, you do have a jetpack. Come on. <laughs> I'll fly my jetpack and be completely obvious to anybody who's watching throughout the entire map. Okay. Let me just check something real quick. Yes, because yes, you yes. know how subtle we are but yeah. with <laughs> the Wookiee. Our... Yeah. And Saria lugging around a huge sniper. Man, what rifle. if the what if the Wookiee had a jetpack? That would be great. <laughs> now you're just giving him ideas. Parts of him would catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he just shaves a strip of his. <laughs> Why are the backs of your legs hairless? <laughs> Oh, oh. the jetpack. Okay. <laughs> so, before we do that, I guess I should read the cutscene. Maybe, maybe you wear this the... big asbestos skirt. <laughs> <laughs> the dominant structure of the complex, the Calerium Processing Plant, is a massive facility sprawling across nearly half a kilometer of land. Uh, repulsor lift sleds come and go from large hangar doors as crates of processed ore move out of the facility and empty crates return to be filled. Inside, rivers of molten clarium run through artificial canyons as uh, gigantic crucibles dip down to extract the materials for the next stage of processing. Catwalks crisscross the entire building, many filled with dro droids tirelessly checking gauges, readouts, and screens. Intense heat permeates the area, making it obvious why only droids are assigned to this building work. I've set the mood. Now, for Galen's uh, jetpack, if he wants to do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, it'd be about medium distance to move there, so roll me a piloting planetary check with two red dice. Two red dice? Yes. <laughs> we'll miss you, Galen. Damn! Oh, wow! Woo! Hmm. Galen's been okay. practicing in his off time. <laughs> well, you still take two strain because, wow. And then uh, you can recover that, though. Um, well, it's already pretty hot, so the jetpack doesn't exactly make it any warmer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and then you are able to get it up there. It's the first time That's it's been able to, to get bishop. it up in weeks. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn! And it's only by using the jetpack. It's only the jetpack. 
So it's like uh it's like the Watchmen and Elman in his costume. Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, That's a sad, sad story. <laughs> um you're able to get there with such skill that basically you fly right over Kato. What? Oh, oh no. hi there. <laughs> and then he shoots you right in the face. Oh ow. <laughs> oh. Uh, that'll be engaged difficulty. Basically, just takes a snapshot. I'll, God, I'll make it more you, difficult. you, Tovin. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Galen. Keep it up. <laughs> I have all these great plans. They just go so badly. <laughs> uh, I will add two setback die due to uh, the awesome roll. It did precisely shit all nothing. God wow, damn it. Wow, that's going to end badly. <laughs> Okay. He, he just gets shot right in the face. I mean, I don't see what else could happen there. <laughs> uh, that'll be, let's see, nine damage plus he's going to activate his critical. So, uh, you're, <laughs> you're soak is five, oh, so you take God. four damage. You take four damage. And then, um, go ahead and once you're done with applying the four damage, uh, do you see where it says critical on your sheet, like just below human? Uh, yes. Click that, and then roll for critical. Don't lose his other hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well. Uh -oh. That's not that bad. Yeah. All right, then. All right, so everyone now, please roll initiative. Uh, it'd probably be forced to vigilance, though. What? You mean I can't be keeping cool? No. Uh, I didn't do it right. God damn it. Oh. I got nothing. Did I take rapid reaction? God damn it! Oh. Well, you were gonna go last anyway. It's true. Huh. It doesn't really matter. Well, remember, it's not his initiative. It's PC slots. Yeah, yeah. PC slots. For your player characters. Wow, well, gears rolled a zero initiative. Yeah. Yeah, all zeros all the time. Everything's coming up gears out. Well, look on the bright side. <laughs> that's that's uh, Galen's slot now. Yeah. <laughs> there is. I mean, he'll be Galen. fine. He's just stuck up there by himself with Kato. Yeah. No, I don't... Uh, Tovan, you didn't correctly roll. You gotta roll yeah, the... correctly roll. You gotta roll initiative at the top of the sheet, not the vigilance check. Oh, right. Ah, I rolled exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, I'll sort that. He got ridiculous amounts of advantages, though. Like, there's really a ridiculous amount of advantages. Alright. So with that in mind, we fight. Now we fight. Saria, you're at medium distance, and he's way high up. AP a real, real, real bad, a real hard shot. Oh boy, I'm gonna get shot again in just a second. How hard of a <laughs> shot are we talking? <laughs> uh, well, since it's medium, it would be um, the two purple, and then I would say probably three setback dice. If you don't move, like, up onto the catwalks or something. Yeah, I might have to make them move up the catwalks. So, On the up catwalks, over here? Yeah, Yeah, that's the stairs. Uh, Just don't worry about it. I mean, we're using abstract distances because I don't care to draw the line to. So, yeah, she'll run up, like, up there. Okay. That just reduces you down to two setback die. <laughs> And difficulty two? Yes. And since I have destiny points out the ass, let's raise one of those purples to a red. So 
one purple, one red. And two black. Oh. Oh, he tried. The shot goes wide, blasts into the ceiling above them. There's sparks. You guys let some lights go out. It looks pretty epic, but you don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice mm -hmm. shot. All right, Kato. Uh, let's see. He's going to kind of shift his position such that he's like not right in Galen's face. He like jumps back onto the console, this thing. It's basically all just a bank of like like some sort of like consoles and you know computers and things like that. And it's not really it's open air basically. Not even glass. And uh so distance he turns in, yeah, takes another shot at Galen. <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot he's hamstrung. So he's still injured. Um, he was favoring his legs when he walked in. Uh, basically, he starts the encounter with the critical wound of hamstrung. That means that every time he he gets no free action, um, so he gets he has to spend. Or, I'm sorry, no free maneuver. So to take any sort of maneuver, he needs to uh, spend two strain, which he does now. With any luck, he'll knock himself out while he's murdering Galen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice shoots. One can hope. Wow. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh that's bad. Goodness. Uh, man, this is where Galen is rushed for more emergency type. <laughs> This is just... I, I, uh, I don't think there's anything I can do to make this character work. No. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with the character. It's the game is being mean to you. He's being very mean. Uh, you take another six wounds, which I believe actually knocks you out. Does it? Looks like yeah, it. Would. Yeah, it would. Incapacitated. All right. Uh, Not activating the crit. He's activating the crit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, click critical again. Yeah, just like that. Oh, wow. no. No, no. He's not going to take that. That's too much. Wow. That would have been amazing last turn, though. Yeah, uh. yeah, amazing is one word for that. <laughs> well, kids, what have we learned today about jetpacks? <laughs> they only cause pain and injury. Never use a jetpack. They're pretty freaking sweet, is what I learned. They are pretty <laughs> freaking sweet. All right, Tovan, you just saw your friend get gunned down in a cold, bloody murder. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's not dead yet. Let's not be hasty here. <laughs> yeah, come on, friends. He's not, he's not dead. <laughs> Probably. Oh, damn. <laughs> See? See? Everyone thought that's where I was going. I was going to go with friend. Oh, let's not overstay things. Oh, that's where I was going. a little bit. Yeah, you went, you went right for that. Gross doesn't care about any of you people. Oh, I thought we had a... We had something. The, the connection of Smuggler and... And, and, and Wookie. The natural... <laughs> uh, Wookie, you know. The, the natural working relationship. Yeah, sure, fine. Let's, let's go. I got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. My feelings are hurt. Look, I got a whole season of Space Girls T Vode. Oh, well, that's just, just getting awkward. Joke. Oh. Space right. T Vode. Speed Vode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how far can I get? Uh, I do nothing but. Oh, well, actually, that's, one... that's, that's a... an important question. If I'm up here. Mm hmm. Am I protected from getting shot in the head by Kato shooting downwards? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Life is terrible. <laughs> uh, 
and trying to shoot him from down here is like a fool's errand. It's pretty hard, yeah. And there's nowhere else that's elevated? Nah, you can try to get onto these arms here that are, you know, a perilously perched above the calarium lava flow, but uh, no. Those seem to be below... Those seem to be going under the catwalks. That's true. I thought they were higher than that, but no, you're right. They seem to go under it. Uh, so no, there's no place higher. No, so the only way to get up to where he is is to get up to where he is. Yep. Okay, how far can I move? Uh, you can move right up to the base of the tower if you take two maneuvers. And that would cost you either both, either cost you your action, or you can take two strength. And still have your action. Which can be used to go up to the top of the tower if you want. I don't think I want to go up to the top of the tower and then not have any actions. <laughs> hey, buddy! Oh, I'm dead like Jalen. <laughs> Coming this um, fall to ABC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move up to like there, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna, um, okay, now from here, how hard would a shot be? Just one setback die. And uh, two, two purple die. Okay. You'd also take the two strength, you know. Yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. It's so scary. I know. I appreciate it. All right. So it's two purple? Yeah. Two purple, one black. Uh, well, two black. Two black because you have yeah, the actuator. Yeah. Okie dokie. Boom. Oh, good work. This heat, though, is just wearing on you. Another two strength. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> you do hit, though, and uh, your damage is... Okay, so that's 11 total. Uh, that'll do 5 damage to him. Alrighty. Graz. There isn't much for me to do other than run and try and get over there as quickly as possible, so that's what I'm going to do. No, you can do like Tobon did and uh, do one minute, one your free maneuver to move up the catwalks, and then the uh, you can suffer two strain to take another free maneuver to get to the base of the tower and then shoot him with your action. I can't take the strain risk. Graz doesn't have enough soak. They're not soak strain. Okay. And if he's got like a got disruptor it. carbine or a stun gun or something, I'm screwed. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing too good on the strain. <laughs> I'll just go over there. Uh, just one maneuver be all of the catwalks. I, I know, I know. I don't have the, the, the distances like covered or anything, but I'm being cinematic. Okay. Anyway. Okay. You, you can, or oh, let's... is that why I'm dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or were yeah, you, or were you, or were you uh, cashing in your action to move that far? Yeah, it was because I, oh, I can't, I can't really do anything else. Okay. Well, you have a bowcaster. I do, but it's not really my forte. Okay. Uh, Galen, you bleed a little. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Graz, Graz is more Bowdar than Chewbacca. Yeah, that's true. Uh. For the fun of it, why don't you roll Resilience with two purple? Who? Is this his death save? Yeah. It's more fun that way. <laughs> Damn! Nice. Okay, recover one HP. <laughs> Next turn, Kato notices that Galen isn't quite dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite dead. Damn, and then all the comments on YouTube are just going to be, damn, Steve's such a dick D DM. <laughs> we never do. Jared. All right. I feel happy. No, don't give yourself a... No. Shh. Ah, Shh. You're Quiet. <laughs> it was an inner thought. He's doing American Sign Language in space. 
Gears. Ah, it's Gears' turn. It's Look Gears' turn. Strain thing that uh, Tovan did because you know Galen might be a jerk about aliens and Rodians and you know what? Actually, Gears is just gonna stand here and be like, oh, <laughs> "Now nah, I'll do the strain thing." Oh, cash take in. a shot. Yeah, yeah. Cash in some strain and take a shot. With my heavy blaster pistolo, that is what? Uh, two purple, one black. Purple, one black. Purple, one black. Two purple and one black. Choo! Woo! Nice. Choo, indeed. Okay, so that's uh, 11 damage again. It takes, uh, excuse me, five. Nice. Eat blaster We're bullets, doing it. sucker. We're whittling him down. He's now at slightly less than half his total wounds. All right. So that would be the end of the next round, except for he's a boss, so he has enhanced nemesis combat. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's going Did to chase us around the city saying stars. <laughs> stars. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's gonna do that, but it'll be the Scooby Doo chase music playing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, running, running in and out of doors. Ruh-roh, <laughs> Oven! <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so yeah, he gets an extra turn at the end of the round. I guess that makes Gears Velma. Jinkies. <laughs> <laughs> That means that Galen is Freddy. Oh no, Presto would be Freddy, wouldn't he? Galen is clearly Scrappy Doo. <laughs> Kill him now. Awful. Awful. Alright, so I think, sorry, it's medium range? Yeah, that's what it said. Damn. Okay, so Kato kind of lifts off on his uh, cool ass jetpack. And... Straight into the Calarian. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just seems to flicker and kind of it doesn't do much. It shows kind of makes a farting noise. Well, that all the guys sometimes. It's true. So he's he's pretty mad about that. So he's gonna uh, point his gun down and shoot straight down at Gears. Wow! Oh, not Gears. Uh... Braylon. Galen throws himself over Gears. No! <laughs> <laughs> it turns out all along his racism had just been a cover. Galen actually dies from the four-story fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's Clint Eastwood from Gran Torino. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my good. That's so, bad. uh, Gears That's gets bad. popped for eight damage, or, well, he has soak, so, uh, six damage, and he also takes a critical. Ah, butts. Butts. Ah, six and a crick, 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 cryptical. Bold over. <laughs> Bold over. He's knocked prone. Is there Probably some recover strain in combat? Um, there's the quip there's the... maneuver. <laughs> uh, I don't remember actually. I don't think so. That's a no good. So prone just means you have to take a maneuver to stand back up. Well, whatever. Indeed. Just you know, just put that out there. All right, so we have a PC slot. Sorry, I can go if she wants. I will shoot him right in the face. Okay. Are you going to take an aim action? Maybe I will. It's, uh, let's see. Um, It's going to be one... Fact, I have precise aim. What's that do? 
reduce target's defense by one. Oh, that's good. Uh, actually, I haven't been adding it in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what it, what defense does. It adds a black die. Oh. I was just accounting for atmospheric things, but yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, it's going to be one purple, one red, and two setback. Purple, one red, two setback. You guys have one defense, but that's not much good. And if you're aiming, one blue. One blue. That'll hit. That'll hit. <laughs> it's good. good. Six damage. Jinx. Jinkies. Ew. Oh, terrible. All right. He's getting shot at. This blaster bo uh, bolt looks far less epic, but actually does something. It like hits, slams into his armor. He stumbles backwards off the console a little bit. And now he's going to try to fly away again. Since it's his turn. One day sure. he'll fly away. Wow, he sure does. Leave all this to yesterday. Directly into the clarium. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a triumph at all. <laughs> a triumph for us. Yeah. You didn't roll it. That's well, uh... irrelevant. Alright, so here's what he does. Whoosh. He flies well, through those windows. I give up. I'm never going to catch him. Alright, we'll just take uh, Galen's jetpack off his body and strap it on you. <laughs> <laughs> going to smell right. some burning pelt, but that's, it's, it's going to be okay. <laughs> uh, he flies through there, crashes through the window, and doesn't shoot anymore? <laughs> 